that better? Are you trying to start? You're not trying to start, are you? I don't know. Hi, guys. So, Christmas time is here. It's not here. It's nah, almost nah, here. Nah, Shut your face. Nah, 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 nah. wondering why am I sitting in a pile of trash well this isn't trash I'll have you know this is a collection of random stuff that I have acquired from thrift stores from Dollar Tree from craft stores and from Lowe's today's project as I'm sure you've seen from the title of this video is a life-sized nutcracker using this random stuff budget friendly i dare say so without further ado let's get crafty i tried to stay in a budget of under 20 but because this is a life-size thing i had to raise that up just a little bit so I would estimate that everything I will be using is a grand total of around $40. Not including like paint and like glue and stuff. Yeah, this is the base. What is this made out of? This is like a, not, it might be some kind of like hard styrofoam something, but I thought it was like really pretty, especially if I spray painted it gold so that the nutcracker can sit on top of it. So because we are making this rather large, um, we have the legs that are made from tin, dryer vent things. But before we do that, we have sticks, pieces of wood that we're going to use to reinforce and make a skeleton, so to speak. We need to trace around this piece of wood so we can actually have something to screw into that won't mess up this base. Kitty, why? These dryer vents were like $3 a piece or something, so that's so we're using them. The only downside is they're apart. So we have to put them together. of the green because that's not green. So now I am going to start working on the torso part. The cool thing about this lampshade is that it's got wiring like not just at the top and the bottom but in various places around the sides but first we don't need this hi so we finished the skeleton of our little nutcracker thing I'm gonna walk you through what everything is so far and how we've attached it and stuff. So let's start to the bottom. As you recall from the intro of this video, we have a fake wood something, plastic, whatever, base, spray painted gold. Two by fours are his feet. The legs are 10 dryer vent things. There's 
three of them total, one, two, and then we took another one of the same size, cut it in half to extend out the legs. Obviously, painting is still on the to-do list. And for the body and skirt, well, coat, bottom coat, whatever, two lampshades. Um, this bottom lampshade is just, you know, your regular lampshade. Nothing really special about it, except it's got its little flare like things do. The torso lampshade was a real cool structured lampshade that was made of metal and stuff. Um, we've turned it upside down. You may notice that there is sticks of wood protruding from <laughs> his body. These sticks of wood go all the way down to the feet. If you come over here, you will notice a screw. This screw holds together not only these two tin pieces, but it screws into the piece of wood on either side. And the, in, the innards should be pretty straightforward when you look at it. Basically just a random piece of wood we had somewhere in the garage um, to keep the, these two pieces of wood from moving around as well as each um, lampshade a means of support for that. So it's all nice and sturdy, right? I would say so. So what we've done to, to create the shoulder was his, this is a closet rod and a dowel. Basically, we screwed a hole into here to make this be attached to this. Then we also screwed holes big enough for this dowel to go through these, what are these, two by twos, four by twos, something, pieces of wood. Um, this is going to basically just go up like this. There's gonna be a ball here for his shoulder ball and then a ball down here for his hand on this side. And on the other side, we basically took another one of those arm pieces, but cut it in half again. This is going to be the arm that <laughs> that forms the right angle so he can hold his little magical staff thing or whatever. That's why this one is so much shorter than that one. We're still working on the construction of that part. Moving on upward, you'll notice a, another, get a little closer up of this. This is a wreath uh, shell, which you would buy at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something to make wreaths out of. I think this like was like $2 or something that I have because, because the gap between this and the basket was too much and I wanted to use this basket that his, is his head to form more of a head shape. So what I've done for the basket part is cut off the outer rim, the top of the basket part, I cut everything out. Then I use zip ties to kind of mold his head to look like a head. And you might be asking, wondering why these are here, sticking up like he's got horns or something. The reason for that, it's a tin, Christmas tin. What we're going to do is, this is opened, put this on top of here like that, and screw into the tin, therefore, further stabilizing the hat so it won't just like wobble all over the place and fall off. So I know I didn't mention this yet, but I figured now would be a great time to do it. Or not. But this is his little magical staff I mentioned. It is, was a closet, or not a closet, it was a curtain rod thing.
Thank you.